Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm blogger behind BrighterDarling.com where you will find mostly things about beauty, some things about fashion, and some things about baby and family. Um, so today we are doing a baby slash family related video. It is my thoughts and a review on some of the Hello Bello products that are now available at Walmart and online at HelloBello.com. Some of these things were sent to me complimentary from the brand, just to let you know, but um, some of them I bought myself and I have repurchased since. So um, I'm not being paid for this, so I'm just gonna give you my brutally honest thoughts on some of the things that I loved and some of the things I really didn't like about the product. So let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, I am a new mom. My baby is currently almost eight months old when I'm filming this video. She's gonna be eight months old this week. So um, I've definitely been in that new mom phase where I like to try everything new out there and testing all different products. That's just the nature of how I am, even with my beauty and my beauty products and like trying new beauty things. So I do a lot of that with baby too, whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so um, basically all their products are meant to be very plant-based. Some um, have some vegan and organic qualities to them, but they don't exclusively say that they are vegan or organic. They are more focused on being plant-based and cleaner. So just to make sure we're clear on that, this is not like a vegan organic exclusive brand. Um, but they try their best to do um, to be like socially conscious. So. Anyway, they have everything from diapers to wipes, diaper creams, bug repellent, sunscreen, baby lotion, body wash, bubbles, I think. Um, they have a lot of products. So pretty much everything that you can find from, I would say, the most comparable competition for them is The Honest Company. But they are priced much more affordably. You can find Hello Bella, like I mentioned earlier, at Walmart, where... Honest Company is exclusively, I believe, only at Target, and uh, you know what, maybe it is at Bye Bye Baby, but for all intents and purposes, Honest Company is like their main competition. Honest Company was co-founded by Jessica Alba. Hello Bello, if you don't know, has been created, co-founded, whatever you want to call it, with Dax Shepard and Kristen, um, oh my god, I always call her, want to call her Kristen Marshall, but <laughs> that's not who she is. Anyway, Kristen Bell. Let's get into the nitty gritty here. So let's start with the wipes. I'm gonna do a comparison to um, brands that I have used a lot and that I think are very popular for a lot of the moms that I'm friends with and have talked to, and that are, those are the water wipes. So Hello Bellows wipes look like this, in case you haven't seen them. Oh my God, my lighting looks very bright. And these are the water wipes. So water wipes, as you can see right here, do appear longer but that's neither here nor there. Um, the water wipes come with 60 in this pack. Hello Bellows come with 60 as well. I will insert the prices on the bottom just because I don't know them off the top of my hand, but you'll see them here on the bottom of the screen. Um, Hello Bellows are slightly cheaper. The um, main differences I will say with Hello Bello is although they both say 99% water on the packaging, water wipes do seem to be a little more clean. Water wipes are straight up water, 99.9%, and grapefruit seed extract, 0.1%. And grapefruit seed extract is in there as a preservative. Otherwise, you don't want a whole bag of moldy wipes. So you're never going to get a straight 100% water wipe. It's just not possible unless you just want to use a wet washcloth. So you have to have some kind of preservative. So Hello Bellows, although they are 99 point Although they are 99% um, water and they don't have parabens, alcohol, or fragrance, neither does water wipe, their list of um, ingredients is slightly longer. It's gonna be impossible for me to show you guys, but you can look it up on the website. But basically the main ingredient is water, but then it has something glucone, glucono, lactone, sodium benzoate, hydroacetophenone aloe vera extract, chamomile extract, fine, deco glucoside, polyaminopropyl biguanide, biguanide, and ethyl hexoglycerin. Um, so, so I want to say a few of those are for moisture, and then some of them I'm sure are preservatives, but it's not as clean as your regular water wipe, just so we're honest here. Um, now, 
When it comes to the, just the packaging itself, Hello Bellows certainly wins out. It's just a no-brainer. They actually took the time to invest in the like plastic flip-top closure with the um, plastic seal to keep things moist and just easier to dispense. It really drives me nuts that water wipes are probably the priciest baby wipe you can get and they don't give you a plastic closure. It's just the little like plastic seal which Let's be honest, gets disgusting in like two days and then, you know, your wipes are going to get a little dried out, which, I mean, thankfully water wipes are pretty saturated, but it's still just annoying. Like you're paying a premium for these wipes, put a plastic closure on it. Seriously. So annoying. But anyway, um, besides that, the size of the wipe itself. So this is the Hello Bella wipe right here. And... This is the water wipe. So water wipe is much more of a square. Hello Bella is more of a rectangle. I will put them next to each other here so we can see how they line up. So they are completely even on the top, more or less. But you will see, hopefully you can see, the Hello Bella one is longer and wider. So Hello Bellows are a smidgen wider, not much, okay? Hopefully you can see like the reflection. And then they are longer by a good inch, okay? You can kind of see the reflection there against my hand, how the Hello Bella go longer. So Hello Bella wipes are longer and smidgen, like maybe a hair of an inch wider. Um, water wipes don't have any texture. They're nice and thick and very saturated. You could feel like the water, like I could probably wring this out. It's that damp and they stay that damp throughout the entire package, which is awesome. A lot of wipes have dried out on me and that's just annoying. Um, Hello Bells are not as wet, but they are still wetter than most. And they have that same textured, um, like bumpiness to it that the Honest Company wipes have. And I'm not sure if other brands have this. Um, I know Oz do though. Anyway, um, I love the texture. The wipe itself is a little thinner, but it has that texture to it, which I find to be really good when you're cleaning a number two diaper. So um, yeah, they are not as damp, but they have the texture. So to me, both of these wipes are excellent. I love both of them. I go back and forth purchasing both of them. The Hello Bella wipes have not irritated my extremely sensitive baby, which is a big feat because Pamper Sensitive bothered her and um, a couple other ones, Baby Gannix, had bothered her. So um, both of these work well. The price point's nice um, on the Hello Bello. And uh, yeah, so the only thing I will say that is superior is the ingredients on water wipes and the saturation. I know a lot of moms, we just love that. And the thickness, they're thick and they do not break apart. That's what I think. Neither one break apart. So, I mean, they're great. I think the wipes are one of Hello Bello's top products that I've tried so far. So if you are looking for a more affordable, water-based, sensitive skin friendly wipe, I would totally go for the Hello Bello, the diaper debacle. So I am not one who used Honest Company diapers. I was warned by plenty of mom friends and just people who have worked with children that although they are adorable diapers, they are infamous for leaks and blowouts. And I was just like, I don't care. It's a diaper, it's going under her clothes. I'm not really concerned about the print. A little bit I like the print, but mostly I want it to fit her well. I want it to be soft and comfortable and I don't want it to leak. That's it. So um, when she was in the hospital, they had used, this is not a newborn diaper, but these are Pampers Swaddlers, um, just the regular ones. Um, I have also tried Pampers Pure. So I'm really gonna try to give you an apples to apples on the Hello Bello diaper versus the Pampers Pure since a lot of people have compared Pamper um, Honest Company diapers to Hello Bello and I don't really care because I never wanted to use Honest Company. I was using, I'm a Pampers mom. So I like all the Pampers diapers I've tried so far with the exception of Baby Dry. So anyway. Okay, so the Hello Bello diaper is very soft, probably the softest I've ever used. It almost has like a plasticky polyester feel, not like plasticky, like cheap plastic, but just, it's very, um, I don't know how to explain it, but basically the Pampers Pure, if you've tried these, they feel like very cottony. These have more of a silky feel to them. They're softer than the Pampers Pure for whatever that's worth. Um, 
when you open them, they don't have that mesh netting that Pampers diapers have. And uh, what I'm talking about is the Pampers diapers. I don't know if my camera will let it zoom in here. Let's see if it will. Oh, it's so bright. I have to really lower the lighting, but it has like this netting before you get to the absorbent core that really wicks away the moisture and any like loose poops away from the baby's tushy and skin, which helps alleviate the chance of a diaper rash. Whereas Hello Bella does not have any netting. It is just the absorbent core. Um, that comes to be a problem later on. Um, the prints are adorable. They have lots of really cute prints. However, I think Pampers Pure Diapers are probably the prettiest ones I've seen. I think they're great at being really gender neutral, very subtle, um, and I just really like their prints. So I don't really care about the Hello Well prints. And like I said, prints themselves aren't so much of a game changer for me, but anyway. Um, so the prints are cute, fine. They have the tab in the front and then they have um, stretchy tab in the back. And they also have, if you've tried Huggies, they have that little tiny stretchy um, aspect right at the butt. Pampers, diapers, at least the Swaddlers and the Pure does not have that. The back is completely flat. There's no extra stretch. Um, the stretch on Pampers Pure, way, way more than the Hello Bello in comparison to a Pampers regular Swaddlers. They, these stretch the most to me. Pampers Pure stretch the second most, and these are all size three, by the way. And then Hello Bello stretch the least, but they still stretch a good amount. When it comes to the fit, we used these, I used a whole pack of them, and they fit her fine. Like I said, she is a chubbier baby. She's in the 96th percentile. She's got thick thighs like her mom, so um, diapers can be troublesome to fit. However, we didn't have any leaks with Hello Bello, so that is great. Um, where my biggest problem is with the Hello Bell is that fact that the core is not good at wicking away the moisture from her skin. So I am like a neurotic person about, oh, my hair looks messy here, about diaper rash. So I change her diaper very often and I didn't like that every time I was changing it, her skin felt damp. Whereas I rarely have that problem with Pampers Pure or Pampers Swaddlers Original. So did she get a diaper rash using these? No. I don't know if it's because I just change her diaper so often, but I just wanted to let you know that it's something that I was kind of apprehensive about when I would feel her skin. So I would not repurchase the Hello Bello diapers just because of that aspect, but the price point's really good. They're also very affordable. Like again, I will insert the pricing on the bottom compared to the Pampers Pure. Pick and choose your battles here. Um, okay. The next product that I have and I've tried is their diaper rash cream. So this was one of the things that they sent me. They also had sent me the wipes. I purchased the diapers on my own. I've purchased wipes since they've sent me wipes on my own. Um, okay, diaper cream. So this I was really excited about because like I said, I'm so neurotic about diaper rash, but I don't love that the ingredients that really help protect and prevent diaper rash like the zinc oxides and things like that can be really strong, right? Um, and not even so much the zinc oxide because that's a physical protectant, but the other fillers that they are put, they're putting in the desitins, the A and Ds, um, those kinds of diaper rash creams. So anyway, when I wanted to get this one, uh, the ingredients really made me happy because yes, it has zinc oxide at a high, high 40%, which is one of the highest I've seen, um, They, which is good. Uh, they also have the inactive ingredients are so natural. You're looking at caster seed oil, sunflower seed oil, cornstarch, palm oil, cocoa seed butter, cetyl palmitate, which again, and another moisturizer, shea butter, coconut oil, to tocopherol, which is a derivative of vitamin E, tamanu seed oil. That's it. And I want to say like almost all of those are organic and non-GMO um, on their ingredient list. So Besides the zinc oxide, you're talking all those nice moisturizing ingredients on the skin and no weird chemicals that you don't know what they are. This is the standout product for me from them so far. I am a huge convert to the diaper rash cream. I'm finishing up my last bits of desitin that I have in the house and I really like this one. I also do like triple paste for what it's worth. I also like triple paste for the same reasons that it has that zinc oxide in a nice percentage but it also has a lot of more gentle, hydrating, soothing ingredients to the diaper rash cream. 
However, if I'm really going to compare them apples to apples, this is a superior formula, in my opinion, regarding clean, gentle ingredients. So um, there's really nothing else I could say about this. I do want to touch upon the texture of this. It is a little different than um, like a desitin. Desitin is super creamy, really thick. Um, it's just really creamy if you've used it before, you know what I'm talking about. Triple paste has a little bit of the grain to it, and that I want to say is derived from the zinc oxide. And because this is such a high zinc oxide um, ingredient, it is a very grainy, but it smooths out. So I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera. Don't mind my nails. I don't even know if you can tell. But see, it's very thick. It's just, it's got a grain to it because of the zinc oxide that kind of surprised me when I first started using it because I was using Desitin. But again, it smooths out, goes into their skin nicely, doesn't leave like grains or anything on it. But I just want you to know that when you first open it, you might be like, oh my God, it's kind of grainy if you've been used to Desitin. Lastly, um, I have one other product that I have here and then I have another product that I tried with a friend before, but I actually don't have it and I just want to mention it though. Um, okay, so I did get this sent to me. This was the premium baby lotion and the soothing vanilla apricot scent. So three things about this that I don't love. It didn't irritate my baby's skin, which everything irritates her skin, I swear to you. And I really think it's lavender oil that irritates her skin the most, and that is like in every baby product ever, so that's just annoying to me. Um, this doesn't have lavender oil, but they do make a lavender scented one. This is soothing vanilla apricot. I personally don't like this smell. I think it smells really sweet, a little plasticky, and just kind of not very baby nice. It smells like a teenager's cheap body lotion from like the drugstore around the holidays. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just don't like the smell. Ugh. The formula itself is very watery. Let me see if you can see it. You see that? It's like a very watery lotion. And it's not the most hydrating. My baby has dry skin. She's got sensitive skin. We use a lot of Aquaphor, um, CeraVe, Eucerin, Dove Baby Sensitive. Um, I'm like Aquaphor again. But yeah, a lot of thick, unscented creams because she's got dry skin. This just wasn't moisturizing enough. Okay, and then the last thing really quick. I did get to try their um, Hello Bello uh, Mineral Baby Sunscreen one uh, day recently. And I really, really liked it. The smell is really nice, um, very mild, doesn't have that heavy sunscreen feel. It's a mineral-based sunscreen. Um, I want to say the ingredients are very similar to the very popular Think Baby sunscreen, which is what I currently have and use on a normal basis, but I happened to be out with a friend and she had the Hello Bello and I had borrowed it. Um, and it really worked nicely on her. It felt very similar to Think Baby. If you are looking for an affordable, mineral-based, good for sensitive skin sunscreen for your baby, check out the Hello Bella one because I know a lot of them can be a little more pricey. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the Hello Bella products that I have tried. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you are curious about the brand and if you've tried them, let me know what your thoughts are if you feel the same as I do about the diapers and the wipes. And if you've tried my favorite diaper rash cream, I would love to hear from you guys. So anyway, have a good one and I'll stay tuned for more baby content and beauty stuff coming up shortly. Have a good one guys. Bye.